So guys, today I am making a scratch tutorial and it will be how to make a paddle and brick game. Now in a paddle and brick game, you have a ball, it bounces off a paddle and it hits the bricks. If you hit a brick, then the brick disappears. As soon as you hit all the bricks with the ball, um, you win. Now if the ball goes below the paddle, then you lose. So first I will make all the, uh, first I will make all the spikes then. I will make the um, scripts. So my paddle will be blue. You can choose your color and your size. And pretend you make the paddle too big like this, okay? You can use the shrink tool above. And you can shrink it until it's just your size. Now you can make it, if you make it too tiny, you can use the growing tool above. And you can grow it to your size. So I want my paddle to be just about this size. And I will put it well actually wait a bit smaller perfect and I'll put it right there now another spread I will create is the bricks now before creating all my bricks first I will create the brick that is um first I will create the brick that's that's uh yeah, first I'll create the brick just one brick okay Cause like before I create all, of, cause if I create all of them, I would have to program in each one the same program one by one by one. But if I create all, one of them and if I duplicate it, it's gonna have the um same program without me have to duplicating it. All the programs. So now let's start. So here is my um. So my first sprite is that. Now. My paddle will be orange, and again, you can choose your size and your color, but mine will be about, uh, like, that. And, so, I won't duplicate it, and my last sprite will, obviously, be a ball. My ball is red, and you can choose your size. Well, it's too big. Perfect. So now, let's begin the program. So now, so as you know, um, first let's program this. So basically, when the green flag is clicked, we want it to go to the position. Well, actually, it's going to go to the Y position is, because the Y axis is up and down. The X axis is from here to here. So we want it to stay in the Y axis is it right now. The y axis that it is on right now because we don't we don't want it to go way up there or way up there so we keep it on this y axis but for the x axis uh we choose it random from that end to this end to the other end okay so um it's gonna go to y keep that the same but then for the x position it's gonna go to x Mouse X, cause we, you know we want to follow the mouse. So if the mouse is gonna be here, it's gonna go over there. Okay? So, now, um, we also have to do, um, is that, I think that's it in the sprite. We, yeah, I think that's it in the sprite. Yeah, guys, also, um, in this, remember we also, if it's touching the ball, then we want the ball to bounce, right? So we have to bring our if block. So if it's touching the ball, or as we call it, sprite three, then we want it. To, so if it's touching the ball, then we want to. Well, actually, no, because you see, if touching sprite three, we want we want that to be in the ball sprite. So basically, that's it for this sprite. So if it's, so when green flag clicked, if it's touching sprite 3, right, then, no, well, not sprite 3, if it's touching the paddle, which is sprite 1, if it's touching sprite 1, then we will, um, bounce. So to bounce, we will have to, actually we won't make it bounce yet, because first, we, we were actually rushing the head too much. We forgot about all the stuff you have to do before this. So, um, in this, so we also have to make sure if it's on the edge, it'll just bounce, right? So, in motion, in the motion section, if on edge, 
it's gonna bounce. And then also, um, we need to go to a certain position. So how about it's gonna go to, you, you can do it in a position. But for me, I'm gonna make it go to X56 and Y55. And then it's gonna show itself. Right? First it's gonna hide this, it'll go there, then it's gonna show. <coughs> and then after that, after it shows, so it, it also has to, um, uh, it has to, oh yeah, it has to go down. So, to make it go down, we have to, well, so, um, so I finally figured out what you have to do if it's a uh, touching sprite one so basically you have to um so if it's touching it then you have to do um you one sec yeah so you have to um broadcast a message so the message you are broadcast is called bounce uh -huh. So it's gonna broadcast out, okay? And then, so in the ball, so in the ball, sorry, this is in the ball. Wait, actually, wait, I need to put this back in that sprite. Back in the sprite. And then if touching sprite 3 the ball, so if it's it's gonna broadcast bounce. So over here, it's gonna be when I receive bounce, then it's gonna point in direction. So it's gonna point in direction. Well, actually, it's gonna point in direction one. Well, you actually have to subtract. So it's gonna point in the normal direction 180 minus its current direction. So like direction 180 which um like up there minus its current direction so probably go there or something so 180 minus its current direction and then it's gonna move 10 steps after that so you get how it goes uh, good. If you don't, then uh, if you have any questions, then ask me in the comments. So now, so we have. I think we did everything for this now. I think. So it's gonna do all that. Okay. Yeah. Now. And yep, for this too. Actually, no, not for this. Now we also have to do um. So after, um, oh, there's a beautiful cup right there. Wait, let me make another green top quick so it doesn't come too long. Let me make this bigger so it's more clear. So after, um, yeah, but like, what if it goes under this, um, what if it goes under the paddle? So that's why, uh, you have to broadcast something when it goes under the paddle. Wait, let me just quickly check this. Let's go to y minus 131. Okay. So then we actually have to, um, yeah. So basically you have to do in this that if, so the y position is up and down. So if the y position Wait, so, actually, wait, wait, if y position, this is if x position, this right, <coughs> if y position of, um, this right, so it's, oh, we can't do that, so how about, just do if y position, I think that's gonna work, so if this right, so y position, if it's less than, this right to y position. So if it's less than minus 130. 
what yeah so if it's less than minus 131 then we have to minus one. well if y position of this is less than the y position of the paddle which is um y position paddle which is right one then it's gonna broadcast you win. You win. No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. It's gonna broadcast you lose, cause like, you lose. And then over here, we have to, in text, we make it you lose but you could add whatever text you want but I will be uh, writing you lose okay now done you lose so now for this sprite we need to do when green flag clicked it's gonna hide, but as soon as the person loses, so as soon as I receive you lose, then it's gonna show, okay? Now, okay, so let's do this. And, oh yeah, also we have to do like the same thing for another sprite, except this sprite will be. You win. Let's make this as big as we can. Oh, come on. Wait, we need to erase all that. And you win. You win. So then when the green flag is clicked, same problem. Hi. But then when I receive you win show. Okay. So until then Okay, so now that's it for those sprites. But then, if okay, now for this sprite. Now, when green flag clicked, if um, so uh, when green flag clicked, if this sprite if is touching ball, touching ball, right? If it's touching the ball which is sprite 3 it looks pretty well so if it's sprite 3 then it will um change it will actually change ghost effect by 25 so it's gonna like drift away to make it look cooler And then, yep. So I'm gonna keep on duplicating this. Okay. Okay, guys, so 
this is part one and i will show you part two in my next video bye